Welcome back to the Vet Nerd. And I'm doing a, well, I'm doing a different video than I intended on doing. I was going to do a video on Magic Dump. It's a cartridge that lets you uh, dump what's on the screen uh, to a printer. And I was going to have it talk to the FujiNet and then check it out the PDF that the FujiNet created. And this is a write cartridge, so I, I got to use the Atari 800. And it's not working. The, I believe the Poke chip has gone bad. Let me let me show you. I actually have this stacked up for a second. Anybody who knows Atari 8 bits, when you turn them on, you get that glorious sound. Now ignore the the lack of color here. I'm using an S video cable, and this isn't set up for S video at, at this time. So, but you can hear the sound that it's making. Let's do that again. That's what you expect. Now, when I turn on this 800, there's no cartridge in here, so it's going to boot up to memo pad. That's all I get, that quick sound. Yeah, that's not the normal sound, and I didn't uh, see that. I didn't. I didn't catch that earlier when I was trying to work with the magic dump cart. But if I put in the port loop back uh, on the SIO and the joysticks, bring up Salt 2.07, and if I go to check port test, yep, I get port test fail. Now this apparently can be either the Pokey chip or the PIA chip, the 6520. And at this point, I don't know which one. Uh, we can also take a look at ah, menu, oh, display, that's right. Display options, enhance, uh, or display errors, and single test. We'll do port test again. And I get this uh, printout. Now, the interesting thing is I can't figure out uh, what these are representing because the PDF I have of the Atari um, service manual for the 400-800 that talks about the SALT 2 cartridge, it's so photocopied, photocopied, scanned, I can't read the, uh, the I think it's chart 312 or something like that. Um, and I looked and uh, I googled and I couldn't find any other better copy. So if somebody out there has a better copy of the service manual that shows somewhere around uh, section three, page 12, uh, this chart explaining what this area is, that would be great. Although at the moment, I'm just gonna take this apart and replace the pokey chip. So now that I've shown you uh, or played for you what sound it's making, which isn't good, and shown you this, uh, let me go ahead and crack this open and let's replace the pokey chip and see if we get better results. Okay, I've got the computer taken apart, the cage is off, and the bottom of the case is gone, and I'm keeping the top up with the keyboard attached. I'm not going to bother disconnecting the keyboard, It'd just be flopping around anyways. So if we take a look now, a boot, and we still have the same problem, of course. Well, of course, it's going to fail because I don't have anything in there. So 
let's go ahead and plug the loop back parts in again. Okay. Turn it on. Port test. Still failing, but of course it is. So now, and just the note, I have the cartridge door switch taped down here. So now here's the PIA chip here, the 6520, and the Pokey chip, which I can't name off the parts, right, the part number at the moment. Um, interestingly, on mine here, it has somebody marked it with a red marker. So I don't know if that means anything. But let's go ahead and take that out. I'm static strap. Go ahead and just remove power from that. Let's see where pin one is. So we put the replacement in correctly. I'm trying to be careful not to break it, even though it's broken, I believe. Although I'm curious, it is um, a bunch of different things that the Pokey chip does. I wonder if other parts of the chip are still functioning. I mean, the sound test does work. So that part of the Pokey works. Now I've got a donor Pokey here from an Atari 400. And let me match the part numbers. So we've got CO12294. CO12294 on the replacement as well. Put that one aside. In one in the right place. Okay. There we go. Let's turn that on. And let's do the port test. Ah, port test fail still. Okay. Let's see if we get a different sound when we turn it on here. Nope, we still get that fast sound. Something's definitely still wrong here. Well, it could possibly be the PIA chip over here. And I've got an extra one of those from that same donor Atari 400. Okay, it's a 6520, pin one is with the dimple at pin one. Let's gently put that in. So I'm having SIO port troubles, not joystick port troubles, but something I read somewhere suggests this could also be involved. Oh, same problem. I have now replaced both of those parts. Let's try the salt cart. Port test, port test fail. Let's display more errors here. Port test, same problem. So I removed the keyboard connector just to get the keyboard out of the way because I thought, well, I'll start reseeding a bunch of chips. And as soon as I removed the keyboard, I booted it up and it actually worked. It is now functioning properly. So let's go ahead and do the salt cartridge. Port test. Port pass. Reseeding uh, the keyboard connector actually solved the problem. That that is pretty wild. Let's uh, change the display options to show full screen of errors. And port test again. Clear. Wow. You never know what you're gonna get. I would. I did not want to disconnect this connector because I wanted to use the keyboard. 
and but I wanted it out of the way for a moment and just reseeding it solved the problem what what was the problem I don't know was there old uh, dead bug or dust or something that was shorting a, a wire so I know I have trouble with the space bar on this keyboard uh, let's go ahead and check the keyboard Well, the space actually is working better now. Ah, oh, jeez. Something in here on the keyboard connector, just dirty. I've, I've seen that on modern computers. It gets dirty enough, it, it shorts. It's organic material that, uh, when it's moist, is, is like a wire, so it, it'll short a connection. So that is pretty crazy. Everything else on the computer was working. A little trouble with the space bar. Uh, and of course, the SIO port not working, so... Now, now we're good. I am actually really surprised. Well, I'll have to put this back together and uh, get to doing the magic dump cart. So uh, thanks for joining along on this uh, adventure. Uh, till uh, the next video. Thanks. Ciao.